morning and welcome back to Sip Sip Knit. My name is Kim and I'm coming to you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this is a podcast where I talk about knitting and fiber related crafts and activities and sometimes get into a little bit of life stuff, mostly talking about my pets and running. But thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. If you uh, tuned into my first two videos, I had one uh, my first episode where I talked about what I was currently working on and then another vlog where I um, It was more like day in the life type of stuff, but again, thank you for tuning in and thank you for joining today So let's just uh, start with what I'm drinking, which is just plain coffee this morning. It's Sunday August 18th and To be perfectly honest, I'm a little tired and still maybe a little bit of jet jet little bit jet lagged <laughs> Um, I had a trip this past week for work to Seattle. Um, there was a conference that we were an exhibitor for, so I was there for a few days. It was nice. I got to do some running and some exploring around the city, try some new food and snacks and new craft beers. So all in all, a really nice trip. of knitting done during the trip except on the plane but sometimes it's just like that but yeah coffee today <clears throat> um so let's get into what i've been working on and what i've finished starting with uh, my most recent finished objects the most exciting is my soldatna crop that was um a work in progress on my last episode so I finished that and I just absolutely love it. I could not be happier with the fit, the colors that I choose chose, um, which actually was in part thanks to Magpie Fibers who um, I ordered the mystery bundle for um, and then I picked up the mustardy yellow separately. But um, yeah, they sent me a four game mystery bundle and I thought it would just be perfect for Soldatna and I'm happy I did that. So here is my finished Soldatna. Um, not wearing it, but I'll try to post a photo of um, me actually wearing this. It's a little too warm still for it today, but just absolutely <laughs> love it. It fits super nicely and it's just super cute. <laughs> All right, moving along. Um, I have two pairs of socks as summer sock camp is winding down at the end of this month. But I have two pairs um, that I've recently finished. I think I was still working on these in the last episode. These are knit out of Ex Libris fibers, the Mrs. Dalloway colorway and I used Sock Witchery String of Lights pattern, which is just perfect when you want um, something kind of vanilla and relatively mindless, but still get a little bit of texture and interest. So these were also, in addition to Summer Sock Camp, Yarns by Design, a local knit shop here um, outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, they're located in Oakmont, a very cute little small town just northeast of the city. Um, Yarns by Design hosted a knit along with Ex Libris Fibers, so if you purchase the yarn in the shop and knit a pair of socks through the month of July and finished and submitted them, you were entered for a raffle. I unfortunately didn't win, but my friend Jenna won and she got 
some Ex Libris yarn and some other goodies. So congrats Jenna on winning the Yarns by Design Ex Libris knit along. And secondly, I have these socks. I put them on blockers because with the Knit 2 Pearl 2 ribbing, they look a little funky off the blockers to be honest, but they fit so well. The ribbing just gives them a nice snug stretchy fit, but um, I use the DRK Everyday Socks pattern, um, including the Flegal Heel, which I really enjoy. Um, it's a really nice way to do toe up and not have to do like a cut in or afterthought or peasant heel. heel for me, they don't really fit quite as nicely. Um, but yeah, I used To The Max yarn, a sock set that my friend Lindsay had gotten me for Christmas, and really like, really like these. It came with this uh, bright blue mini, which I think is a really nice coordinating contrast color. So that's all for finished objects. I'll show you a few of my whips. I have six, I think, currently, but I think I'm only going to show you three. Um, I'm still working on my friend Tony's Doctor Who scarf, but I only got a couple of stripes done. I've been really slacking on that, so sorry, Tony. I will get it done before it gets cold. But um, yeah, not too much to show as far as progress there, so I didn't even bring it over. I have a pair of socks that's randomly in some car. They're like my car knitting, so I didn't bring those in. And I still have my Vertices Unite shawl that's been in timeout for a while, so nothing to show there. But my three current whips, I have two socks. One is... Um, pattern by Summer Lee called the Broken Rope Socks. So you have a broken rib like alternating between knit and knit one pearl one. And then I just started the, well I did the heel flap, heel turn, and I'm working on the gusset right now. And knitting these on Magic Loop and using Knit Picks Tweed Stroll. Knit pick stroll tweed. So the yarn kind of has this like rustic look, I think, because of the tweed, but it's actually really soft. So I'm going to try to get this and my other couple of pairs of socks done by the end of the month so they can be um, entered for summer sock camp prizes. So um, next sock whip is the Curio Socks by Andrea Mowry. I have one sock finished that was um, actually started and completed during the Seattle trip all plain knitting <laughs> but um, yeah it's not it looks a little weird because it needs to really be blocked out for some reason my gauge was really tight on on these but um, here's what it looks like and I have my stitch markers marking my progress but I'm using this chartreuse, not chartreuse, oh my goodness, <laughs> aubergine, uh, like really deep purple with this uh, yarn hero mill spun um, kind of color shifty yarn for the contrast color. So I finished the first sock and I have just the tiniest bit on the toe of the second sock. So, it's not too much to show with that. But I did try the um, this sock on and despite it looking really wonky, it does fit really nicely. All right, and then my third whip is this sweater. Um, it's the Wanderling Sweater by Isabel Kramer, which I did not talk about as a possible future knit on my last episode, but that's because I totally impulse bought a sweater's quantity of Ex Libra yarn when she released the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 
her uh, new colorway called Newsprint on DK, which it's this really nice gray scale type neutral with just a little bit of gray black speckle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I just like couldn't resist. I thought it would just be a really nice sweater. And so far I've not been disappointed. <laughs> um, I picked the Wanderling sweater because it is kind of a basic raglan, but with some differences in details, it has this mock rib raglan and a v-neck. Um, so here is what I have done so far. And then on the back, it has a mock rib panel that's kind of going down the back. Um, but yeah, I just joined in the round, maybe like 10 or 15 rounds. And then I just tried it on. So it's still on my barber cords right now. The fit looks nice. Um, so yeah, I love, love the raglan and then like the, the garter edging of this v-neck and then um, you made two buttonholes here as you were knitting this neckline so you'll just kind of join put two buttons in as you're finishing it so I still need to figure out what buttons I'm going to use but very very pleased with this so far and I haven't decided what length of sleeves I'm going to go with I'm thinking probably like three quarter length or something like that. Not entirely sure, but yeah, anyway. And then now for upcoming knits, um, actually rewind a little bit. So in my recent vlog, I mentioned the Steel City Yarn Crawl, Steel Valley Yarn Crawl. So I did get some, uh, really fun yarn during that. I didn't go too crazy, but um, I picked up this yarn um, from, I'm drawing a blank, McWalkers. <laughs> picked up this yarn from McWalker to use in the Look at My Holes tea by James N. Watts. It's this Jody Long Coastline with a little bit of tan speckle. So I think once I finish the Wanderling, or maybe even before, I might cast it on sooner. Probably not until at least a week or so. But I would like to get some wear out of it while it's still warm. So I'm thinking that might be my next garment cast on. Pretty sure. And that should go pretty quickly. And then for sweaters um, or garments, whatever, I think I'm going to do, once I finish the Wanderling, I'm going to cast on Sorrel by Wool and Pine Designs. And I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to use fingering held with mohair. And for the fingering, I'm going to use this uh, yarn I got by Fiber Optic Yarns. It's got kind of browns and tans. Um, it's called Barista kinds of animal hairs on it. <laughs> the problems of living with two dogs and two cats. But uh, yeah, really pretty variegated. And I'm gonna hold it with this like neutral pinky nude yarn from Magpie Fibers. And it's called a little bit bougie. So I think these two paired together will be nice. This will just give it a little bit of like a, a pink halo. So I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I'm going to also maybe cast on another ranunculus. And I don't know what socks I'll cast on next. I always have some sort of socks on the needles because they're so transportable. I can take them in the car easily out to breweries, whatever. So I, yeah, who knows? <laughs> Always socks on the needles. Um, and then this week, this upcoming Thursday on August 18th is the next 
meet up at Necromancer Brewing, the Sip Sip Knit uh, Fiber Arts Night. You don't have to come in. You don't have to be a knitter. You can bring anything to work on. Or if you just want to learn and figure out if you want to get into knitting, crocheting, spinning, you could talk to some other makers and they can give you some tips or maybe even some uh, guidance on how to get started. Um, but yeah, it's from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Necromancer Brewing here in uh, the North Hills of Pittsburgh. It's located on Babcock Boulevard, not too far outside of the city. It's maybe a 10 minute drive from downtown, but it's a really nice uh, space. The, uh, the company um, is really great. Love the bartenders. It's a really nice community of uh, people that run it and regulars that go there often. My partner and I are there probably at least once a week, but um, love the place. And I hope uh, to see some of you all there if you're from the local area to come and hang out. Um, last time, the July one, I believe was on the 20, 28th, something like that. But we had seven or eight people that came and hung out and it was a good time as usual um I showed some of that on the vlog <laughs> I believe um so maybe I'll try to get some more some more content from that chat with some people and um yeah we'll see what happens but yeah as far as the rest of the weekend um think after this I'm going to go for a walk with Luna over to the park. We live very close to Riverview Park, a very highly underrated city park in Pittsburgh. It's beautiful, has a really nice observatory um, at the top of the hill, a nice off-leash dog area, and lots and lots of um, trails, like dirt wooded trails that I do a lot of my trail running on and dog walking on. And then I'm going to meet my friend Jenna at Voodoo Brewing. We're going to hang out and knit and chill and catch up. But yeah, I think that's all I have to chat about today. It was a very quick episode. I didn't even have any pets that came and say, said hi today. Very quiet, very quiet morning around here. Everyone's napping. <laughs> Lazy vibe around here. Um... As far as other life stuff, I'm going to be spending a bit of time in West Virginia in the upcoming months, or upcoming month, I guess, um, helping out with some things with my family, so I might be recording from there a little bit here and there, but um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all I have to chat about. I'm going to uh, put my feet up and maybe get a few rounds in on my sweater and then go for that walk. So thanks for tuning in. Again, I really appreciate it. And um, I'd love to connect through the comments too. I know that some of you left comments on my last video and it was really cool um, getting the feedback and also finding out that I'm not the only person that is interested in both knitting and trail running a nice like crossover um, it got me thinking that I can see how people that knit are into trail running and vice versa just with the, the meditative quality it sometimes has um, yeah I can see why people would be interested in both if you're a certain type of personality like mine <laughs> anyway I'm going to go uh, put myself away and enjoy the rest of my weekend. I hope you do too. Bye-bye.